hi guys welcome back to my channel today i want to show you how i make my very easy special chinese sauce as you can see here i have about four to five spoons of my cooking oil and i'm just going to let this heat up and add in my chicken breast you can make use of your chicken fillet if you have but i'm using my chicken breast for this recipe so i'm just going to turn this um apart as we know chicken breast is very easy to cook and here i'm adding my onion and i'm going to add my ginger and my garlic chicken breast is very easy guys so you need to make sure you have like a very strong ingredient so it will penetrate your chicken breast or your chicken fillet I also like to add in my scorched hot pepper people call this ataro do people call this habarini pepper but I like to add that and a bit of my onion powder but if you don't have your onion powder it's fine to skip that part and I also add my black pepper just to give it a little heat in my um, in my Chinese sauce And lastly, I will be adding my carrots. Um, what I'm making is for about five people. It is not for five people, actually. People who eat well. <laughs> and also, I have to mix my wet ingredients. As you can see here, I have my oyster sauce. And I'm throwing in about three spoons of oyster sauce. There is no Chinese without this ingredient that I'm making right now. So just watch carefully until the end. And I have here my light soy sauce as well. I'm adding it about three tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm also going to add my sesame oil to it. Some people don't like to use sesame oil, but I like the taste it gives, the aftertaste it gives to my Chinese sauce. And also adding my sugar, a bit of water just to loosen it up. And of course, our corn flour. I'm adding about um, half a spoon of corn flour. That's what I'm adding to my sauce. And I'm just going to mix this together and set aside. I'm back to our cooking, guys. I'll be turning in my wet ingredient into my chicken breast and just let it cook. And I have here my diced yellow green bell pepper i like to dice my pepper a, bell, a bit bigger than usual because i like the whole size and of course the crunchiness it gives to my meal as you can see guys our chinese sauce is ready chinese sauce is never difficult to make just make sure you have the whole ingredient and you put it in the right way you're supposed to put it it's like one two three do not go three four five <laughs> it is that easy to make guys please try this recipe let me know what you think and do not forget to subscribe share with your friends and family and until i see you next time my channel please stay safe bye